In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to create a custom watermark for Google Docs that looks exactly how you want it. So, first we're going to be using Google Drawings to actually create the watermark, and then at the end we'll go and insert it into our Google Doc. So, first of all, what you need to do is you actually need to open up Google Drive. So, Timmy will just open a new tab and go to drive.google.com. And then, once you're in Google Drive, you'll just need to click on this new button here. So click on new. And then come down here to more and hover over more. And then you'll see Google Drawings here. So now if you click Google Drawings, it will create a new Google Drawing. And you'll probably want to name your Google Drawing. This part isn't super important, but it just keeps things organized. And now that we've done that, the first thing you'll need to do with your Google Drawing is make it the perfect size so that it fits inside your document. So, the default size of a Google Doc is 8.5 by 11 inches. So, you might think that's the perfect size that you need to make the watermark. But, Google Docs by default do also have a 1 inch margin right around the side. So, the actual perfect size for a standard Google Doc will be 6.5 inches by 9 inches, and that way your watermark will fit perfectly within the margin. So, that's the size you need to make your drawing if your Google Doc is just completely normal and standard. But if you've changed the page size or you've changed the margin, you will just need to come into Google Docs and click on File and scroll down to Page Setup here and click on Page Setup. And now you'll see here the paper size of your document, so that's the page size, and you'll also see the margins as well. So you'll just need to work out whatever these two are. You just subtract the margin from the page size and work out what it would be. But if it's normal, you can just go ahead and use 6.5 by 9 inches, which is what Timmy's going to do. So to set the size of your Google Drawing, you just need to click on File, and then come down here to Page Setup. And now where it says Standard here, click on that, and now click on Custom, and now you're ready to type the size. So, to me, we'll put 6.5 in this box, and 9 in this box, and it's set to inches for us, so we don't need to worry about that. And then just click on Apply. And now the drawing is the perfect size to fit within the margin of our Google Doc. So, now you can get on to designing your watermark. And this part's really a bit more up to you and what you want your watermark to look like. But to me, will just give you a basic rundown of some of the features so you get an idea of how it can work. So, if you wanted to put some text in your watermark, you could just click on this text box and click and drag on the drawing to create a text box. And now you can type some text in it. And now you can change the text up a bit. So if you highlight the text, you could change the font. So to me, you'll choose something cool looking. And you could make it a lot bigger by clicking on this. Or you could click here and choose a size like that. You could make it bold. You could underline it. You might want to center it. And you can just do all kinds of things like that. And you also might want to tilt it on a bit of an angle or something. So if you click on this circle above the box and drag from side to side, it will tilt your text on an angle. So if we tilt it a bit like that and let go, now the text is on an angle. And then you'll obviously want to drag it down by clicking and dragging. And maybe you want to leave it like that. That's not very perfect, but just to be quick for this example, to me, sure you get the idea by now of what you could do with your text. And you could also create a shape, maybe. So if you click on shapes and come down here to shapes or arrows and things like that, to me, will choose a circle here. And you just click and drag to draw your circle. And you could choose the color here, so maybe orange. And we'll make the border transparent. And this is not going to look like a very good watermark, but you could put a shape there, or you could insert an image by clicking on this Insert Image button. And now you can choose to upload an image from your computer, which would be a good option if there's an image on your computer you wanted to use. 
But Timmy's going to choose Google Drive to choose an image from Google Drive. And Timmy will just choose maybe this image here and double click on it to insert it. And then obviously make it a bit smaller. And Timmy might put it in this corner. And then if you ever want to duplicate anything, you can do that by right clicking on the thing you want to duplicate or a two finger click on a trackpad if you're using a trackpad and then click on copy and then right click somewhere not on the item you want to duplicate and then click on paste and now you have two of them. So maybe we'll put the other one down here. So as you can see this is a pretty terrible watermark but Timmy doesn't want to waste a lot of time making a good looking watermark. To be sure by now you get the idea and you can now go and create your watermark exactly how you want it to look. And then once you have finished creating your watermark, you will actually want to make it look a bit faded most likely. Because at the moment we've got a bit of black and we've got some bold looking colors and things like that. And that means when this watermark is underneath the text, it'll probably be a bit hard to read the text. So what Timmy likes to do is make everything in the watermark look quite faded so that it sort of just fades into the background and that way you can still really easily read the text and it also makes it quite obvious to people that that part is the watermark. So for text, if we highlight the text by clicking on it like that, you'll want to just change the text to a fairly light gray color or even a lighter color of a different color. So to me, click on the text color here and choose maybe this light gray. And now as you can see, it's faded it into the background a bit. And for images, it does get a little bit more complicated, but you can make it faded by clicking on the image and then clicking on format options here. And then if you come down and click on adjustments in this side menu here, you'll see this transparency slider. So if you slide the transparency this way to maybe about half, you'll see the image has started to become a bit transparent and the background behind it is starting to show through. So it looks very faded. So that means once you put this watermark on the white background of your Google Doc, it will be quite a light faded looking image. So that's about what you'd want to do with an image. And to me, I'll just quickly do it to the other one. And now we just need to make the shape look a bit faded. So if we click on here, we'll do that by changing the fill color. So if we click on here, we could choose a more faded light looking orange, like maybe that. And now the shape is quite faded into the background as well. So you just need to go through and do this to every different object inside your watermark. And then once you've done that, you're ready to download your watermark to your computer so that you can then insert it into your Google Doc. So to do that, just come up to File here and click on File, and then come down and hover over Download. And now in this menu here, click on PNG Image, and now it will download a PNG image of your watermark into your Downloads folder. And now you're ready to go and insert the watermark into your Google Doc. So to do that, just come over here to your Google Doc and click on Insert here. And don't click on Image because we have just downloaded our watermark as an image. So you might think you want to insert it as an image, but you actually want to insert it as a watermark. So come right down here and click on watermark. And now you'll see here, by default, it's wanting to insert an image watermark. And we do actually want to insert an image watermark. So we'll click select image here. And now we need to upload the design we just created and downloaded from Google Drawings. So to do that, you'll just need to click on upload and then click on Browse. And now this part might look a little bit different depending on what computer you're using, but you'll just need to find your downloads folder somewhere. And then in there, you should find your image that you just downloaded called Example Watermark or whatever you named it. And now if you double click on it, it will start uploading the watermark we just created into Google Docs and it will insert the image. So now, as you can see, we have our watermark with our text and the pictures and the little shape thing 
all as a watermark behind the text of the Google Doc. And that's all there is to it. So now you can close this panel here and maybe close that too. And now you have your cool looking watermark on every page of your Google Doc. So that's really cool. And that's all there is to creating a cool looking custom watermark to put in your Google Doc. But if you don't want to bother doing a whole lot of work to create a custom watermark, and you just want to insert a fairly basic watermark in your Google Doc, you can learn how to do that by watching this video right here.